Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hasib here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I will show you how to create Go High Level forms and how to style them. So this video is more about how to customize your forms to look a bit better and then um, how to match according to your branding and everything. And also I will show you how to use ChatGPT to style your Go High Level forms. That's right. I'm going to show you some custom CSS tips and tricks that you can apply via ChatGPT, so you don't have to know custom CSS and all that stuff. Uh, you can just simply use ChatGPT and I'll show you how I use it uh, to make our forms look a bit beautiful. So let's go to sites. This is one of my test accounts as usual. I'll go to forms, builders, and then I'll add a form. I'll start from scratch. So this is how you can create forms. If you don't know yet, these forms can be embedded onto your website, your external landing pages, lead pages, and also they can be used independently via a link so this is what it gave me and this is what i have so i'll just remove everything so i can show you what we can do with it remove literally everything and this is the blank slate so i'm going to call it lead form and now if you click on the uh, left plus icon it's going to give you all the elements you can add to the form if you click on the right side it's going to open up the setting bar and uh, as you keep creating elements from here by dragging and dropping onto your form it's gonna give you the corresponding setting for that element right so this is pretty similar to the go high level funnel builder if you think about it like left side has all the elements the right side has all the settings so this is i mean pretty similar and this is pretty i would say this is user friendly as well so let's go ahead and start creating our form so i would select full name i will also select email and i will select phone number so as soon as you hit phone number it's gonna give you that default terms and conditions bit but I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the terms and conditions from here I agree to terms and conditions you can obviously change the text in it and also I'm gonna add a button so submit will be coming at last so this is the simplest form you can think of right obviously uh, you can add uh, single line text multi-line text like other custom options as well text box you know a list box single drop down multiple drop down radio options checkbox as, as much as you can i don't use these i rather go with uh, you know custom fields because if the contact submits the form the contact will be created in high level in this sub account and the custom field will have whatever this person submitted through this form so that's why i use custom fields so let's say if you want uh, to add a custom field called what uh, what type of service do you need so i will just go ahead and uh, maybe select radio select the radio is a uh, you know multiple it gives me multiple options and allows me to select one so what type of service are you looking for so let's say this is a this is a lawyer so this is a law firm account so i would i would do what type of case do you have so there will be some options like personal injury, DUI, family law, and let's say others. <clears throat> okay. And then group it under general info, additional info, anything you want. I'll just do general. Once you create that, that custom field will be under general info because I created it under general info. So I'll just do this. So this is a form and I'll save it. And now let's just start customizing it. So I'll first of all open up my setting bar here. First of all, I can set it to single column, two column, single line. And just so you know, if you embed it, some of these functionalities might not work. But as long as you're using this form in your Go High Level landing pages, Go High Level website, you should be good. You should, uh, you don't have to worry about them, uh, you know, not functioning properly. So I'll just do multiple line, but I could do inline as well. Uh, inline suits better if you just have literally like two fields name email and then the submit button inline will work really good in that case but i'll just go with single column input style will be say line if you say line it, the boxes will disappear you say uh this is just an input style but i'll stick with box for now uh also width of this form can be adjusted from here so if you do it 750 it will be wider field spacing the space between each input field these all are input fields including uh, you know the button as well so if you do 20 the spacing will increase but for this example i'll just stick with 16 label width is the width of the label so you don't have to worry about it that much label alignment let's just have it on top you know uh and that's pretty much it for this this is basically the forms padding so uh margin padding not just padding so if you just eliminate the top spacing 
you can do that and also let me go back to quickly add a text so let's add a text let's just eliminate this setting bar i can add a text on top saying that and now this setting is for this text field only so i'll just do uh pop-ins this is the font family and then i'll just go with 28 pixels maybe 24 yeah 24 looks better weight of the font is how thick the font really is so i'll just do 600 probably 500 will be good um and then i can center align this and there's millions of other settings that you can you know go through for each of these fields you know uh but for now i think that should be okay uh and you can also enter like user capture just so you don't get a lot of spam captures help you prevent you know spams form submissions now that's it for this text field now let's go back to our setting so this is the form setting we're talking about again um and we have uh we were just adjusting the spacing so as you can see this is the left and right spacing of the form so i would rather keep it 20 because what I've seen is if I embed this onto my website, this form gets really shrunk. So I just keep it 20 uh, and then it will look good in both Go High Level and also WordPress. Uh, show label, you can you can just have uh, the labels turned off. In that case, the radio options label will disappear as well. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, but there's another workaround. So let's say you want to get rid of the labels, but you want to show this to a label here. So I would just go ahead and add a text field here to here and then say what type of case do you have All right uh and now i would save it and now again just like the uh the previous one unfortunately we can we can't duplicate these uh the, the texts here so i'll just do pop-ins 16 and then hit 500 maybe yeah and uh yeah that's pretty much it uh you know so if, if you don't want to have any uh any labels but if you do then just get rid of this and then en enable labels and the label will appear again uh anyway let's go and go to colors and background this is the background color of the form this is the font color input color you know all these stuff uh there's you know under miscellaneous you can see agency branding you can turn it on or off now let's go to advanced setting now we can we'll start editing these uh the, the settings for the input fields because these look pretty basic and i want to match them according to my branding so first of all the border width uh, is fine corner radius can be the, the corner radius of the form is three so i'll just set that to two and this is the box shadow as you can see this form itself looks a bit elevated so if i eliminate the the shadows it will look really flat but if you do want to elevate it a bit then just have it you know just a bit of <clears throat> box shadow so it looks a bit uh, separated from the background so that's a form option now let's go to the input field so this is the input field we are uh, you know th the single line input fields we are editing right now so if i do corner radius to two so you can see it looks a bit sharper now and also um the input fields margin and padding can be adjusted from here to say 12 to 12 so as you can see they're uh you know leaving space now and uh, from the from the left side up, giving it 15 pixel padding from the right side as well. Um, and then these are the shadow options for each input field. I'm not going to use that for now. Labels, you can change the label font. So as you can see, there's these are in pop-ins now. Short label, we're not using short label, so I'm just going to leave that. Placeholder, what's the font going to be inside the, uh, inside the fields? So I'm going to say pop-ins and maybe 14 and placeholder color can be adjusted to to you know further fade them fade them away and here we can have custom css so these are all the settings you can get for uh you know under advanced that will allow you to edit these the styles of the input fields and everything uh labels inputs placeholders all that stuff now let's go and uh let's close this bit let's go to the button so the button can be edited separately but most of you get uh, you know confused about how to edit the button because you don't find that under form settings here there's no option to change the button not even under advanced so what you need to do is just get rid of all this 
and then click on the button it will open up the button setting separately so now let's just go ahead and say um yes i want to register you know let's say this is a registration form or something uh or uh i want you know because this is a law firm we are treating this as a law firm form so we'll just say yes or let's say i want a consultation all right this is the background color we're not going to worry about background color in this one so uh you can have your own background color as a hex code in it so let's say i have a i have a background color here which is this all right so that's the red color and the cone radius can be set to two and also you can adjust the height of this uh of this button by saying 13 and 13 on top and bottom left and right is fine and this button is set to full width see here so other than that uh you can add subtext as well uh you want a free cons uh, free consultation so this is the subtext and you have separate settings to edit the subtext so i'm not going to do that i just want a simple button here and uh, let's go down this is the padding uh and there are box shadows as well on the button if you want to that just to be elevated a bit you can have that and now the font can be changed so i'll just do pop-ins and the weight of the font font can be just to set to 600 and this is the subtext uh this is the subtext setting just like i told you a couple of minutes ago uh but we are not using any subtext so we're not gonna touch that now let's just go ahead and make this button look a bit beautiful you know so i'll just give you some examples of how i use chat gpt now to um, edit whatever i want in the forms let's just show you how you can uh, set up a redirect action or uh, what happens when the form is submitted so let's save it let's click on this and go to options so on submit you have either you, you have to either send them to a new url which could be possibly a thank you page or like if you have a website site.com slash thank you page you have if you have a thank you page of course but if you don't you can just show them a message and that message has its own styling so you can edit that message styling like font family background color of the font font size font color everything so that can be changed but i'll just turn that off for now so i'll just do thank you for submitting the form and maybe just as a as an example i'll just set the form uh the font the thank you message uh font family to poppins right uh I'll, I'll do that center aligned and maybe make that 20. so save that uh that's the redirect action we're doing so whenever the form gets submitted this is the message they see all right now let's integrate this so you can uh take the form as an inline and just copy the embed code put it wherever you want on your page and then the form will be populated but if you want to use it independently, you can do that by doing this. So this is your form link. If you share it with anyone, he has the ability to submit this and your uh, you can grab the information that way. Now, let's go to ChatGPT and uh, let's just say, let's just write a prompt. And uh, you can totally use the free version. I have the paid version, but you can totally use the free free one for now. Uh, I think the free one also gives you a, a few ChatGPT4 messages, so you should be good. So let's say uh, I want to customize form i will share you the source code of the form just need to add gradient to the button here are the colors i need on the gradient and now i'll just share two colors to put some gradient on the button so these are the two colors i want on my form button uh, and also what I want is on hover, I want to uh, I want to have a smooth hover animation grow with a 0.3 second transition. I'm just writing this in human language, right? I don't have to know CSS. I just want to literally copy the code that it will generate and put it in the under the custom CSS of the form. So um, write me custom CSS for this and here is the warm source code and now i'll just go ahead and uh, right click on the form from the from the preview page go to view page source copy everything from here and then just go to chat gpt and put it like this so here's my prompt here's my code and now it, it will generate the generate the css that i need for doing what i asked it to do so let's just copy this one maybe this will work 
but we can ob obviously come back and change it to whatever we want. Let's just do advanced settings, custom CSS, and let's just do save. So if we save it, let's go back to our form and try to reload this. As you can see, the color was changed uh, and a gradient is available now. And also if I hover on it, it gives me a 0.3 second steady uh, smooth trans transition the button grows and this is not by default available maybe it will be in the future but i don't know uh, let's just go back to the form let's just click on the button and you can also put corner radius in it i guess just uh whatever is not available here as a setting you can just always ask chat gpt and it will generate for you let's say i want to make it bigger you can make it bigger natively so you don't have to ask chat gpt to do that so i'll just do 25 so if i go back now Corner radius is set to 25, I guess, so it should work now. But if it doesn't, maybe ChatGPT has uh, hard-coded the corner radius. No, it hasn't. So it's it's working just fine, you know. So uh, if if you want to elevate these uh, input fields a bit, but, uh, you know, you don't know how to do that natively, you can ask ChatGPT to do that as well. So I'll just do uh, the input fields need to have a smooth box shadow but we know it's available uh but you know you always have the option to custom code it so this is giving you the code and this is just an example this is i'm not saying that you have to do it i'm just showing you how what chat gpt can do right so let's go back to our custom css and just put it here and you can do whatever you want with it really chat gpt is really powerful nowadays Oh, it didn't work. Yeah, so if it, it doesn't work, then you can just go back and say, like, it didn't work. Uh, is it updated CSS code? Maybe it won't, It didn't work because sometimes because of priorities, priority uh, set in the Go High Level forms, it doesn't really work. So you can, if you want it elevated, you can obviously, you know, just go to advanced setting, go to input field and apply the box, uh, you know, box shadow from here. So I'll just do 4-4. Four, four. like this just trying to make it not look super weird but you know you get the idea right so you can do it from here but anything uh in terms of you know uh, whatever is not available in go high level as a native setting i would just go back to you know ju just go to chat gpt and ask to generate the css code for that and hopefully you'll you'll also be able to customize your form according to that so that's pretty much what i wanted to share guys in this video um yeah drop a comment if you want me to cover any other topic regarding go high level i'm trying to make videos on whatever you guys need rather than like you know what i need to create uh and uh please subscribe if you like it and I will see you in the next one.